Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly, uh, not weekly, excuse me, uh, monthly <clears throat> Tarot reading for November 2018 and uh, as I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Libra Star Sign and it is not your personal reading therefore uh, I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal re readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings <coughs> And one more thing, uh, if you are finding these general reports uh, helpful and you want to know even more about uh, Libra's month, specifically career and relationship, <clears throat> you can uh, purchase the extended monthly tarot reading for just $1.49 from my website. And there I am to do a, a two spreads in that extended video, <clears throat> specifically focusing on career and on relationship, for in this case... Libra. So what we do have here is a, a five card spread <clears throat> and the first card for you guys that will be about the topic of the month and we have for what it seems a winner because this is the full card. So the full card as we all know in all tarot decks it does represent the new beginning. The brand new beginning for that matter. The full card could be uh, the sign for your new job it could be your new relationship as well, friendship, you name it. It is basically a, a new chapter in one's life. Now, very important when we talk about four is that you are um, totally spontaneous of how you are to face this new chapter in your life with no uh, premeditated um, expectations, no, um, <clears throat> also, you know, bias, thoughts, of uh, what is to happen and how should be happen happening because the fool is, is the fool is focused upon the end of the goal and i really like how this card is displayed and it, it is explained in one specific tarot deck i will not say it because it's going to be a uh, advertisement and uh, in this tarot deck the full card is um, explained like a a a, a, a toddler in the medieval age, which toddler wants to become a knight, all right? And this is all that the toddler knows, that he wants to become a knight, and it's kind of, it's trying his best to uh, reach that goal. Of course, the toddler doesn't realize that there is a hierarchy, that there will be a lot of obstacles along the way, but what it matters right now is that the toddler wants to become a knight. Therefore, the toddler starts to practice with wooden sticks, and etc., etc., so, to prepare oneself you know uh, one day to follow that goal well that day has come here to, for you to uh, follow the goal that the new chapter in your life is gonna is gonna present itself to you now in, in a more practical level this car represents quite of a, a lot of uh, uh, a learning chaos so it, it is kind of like uh, it differs from the creative one because uh, if we talk about career with the full card you may be uh, you could be placed into a very peculiar situation in which situation you may not have a clue what you should do next but that also gives you a great opportunity to learn and to make additions to your skill and to your knowledge in the personal life this card asks you to be extremely spontaneous when you come to interactions with people or love interests here uh, <clears throat> and uh, um, to leave the um, uh, how can I place it to leave the demanding behavior on the shelf here there, there should be nothing that uh, uh, have to provoke something of demand all right just smile a lot you know go with the flow be spontaneous, uh, do jokes, it's, in, in general don't have much of an expectations how the thing is going to be developed 
but rather be focused more upon the grand scheme of things and go of the grand scheme of things which in your case is to either have a new job or to either have a new relationship etc etc just lose the news if um, I may express myself that way the next card is the best possible course of action here and this will be the seven of uh, pentacles by the way <clears throat> this card here points to a uh, revelations uh, as a follow-up to the full card and these are revelations in which you are to realize um, what doesn't work in your life at that specific moment and what you need to do in order to force that new chapter so that new chapter is going to be consciously created or consciously taken by you realizing that a certain thing isn't working out either relationship either career or it could be just an enterprise into your relationship it could be just a, a project into your career etc etc important thing with the seven of pentacles is to be true to yourself uh, and to uh, in, in a sense of that you should not lie to yourself what could be if you should forget about the word if you should focus on what it is right now and uh, as soon as you realize that you are giving way much more than you are getting out of it obviously something needs to change you need a, a new chapter in your life the next card <clears throat> This is going to be uh, the challenges which are causing predicaments here. That is going to be the four of um, the four of cups. Uh, very peculiar card, if I may say that way. That that is uh, falling into this particular position as a follow-up because the four of cups it represents. How can I place it? It, it, repre it represents in many cases overabundance. It, it is a, a state in which you are, or the, the, the subject of the reading, it is consuming the very last benefits of one's achievement and the time is coming that one needs to place a, a new achievement and new goals in front of oneself. And as we are talking about that this is a, a time that you need to place conscious new chapter in your life you need to embark consciously a new chapter in your life here this card represents the difficulty of you defining where and uh, this card in that specific case have even a, a high higher impact upon the uh, the unfoldment of the month because it does represent your awareness of where this new chapter needs to take place so we do have here a, a big uh, danger if I may say it that way of you not being capable accurately to um, to make that analysis that it is required so you you may continue on fooling yourself and as this is a conscious uh, new chapter uh, that is not something guaranteed at all you will have the potential to make a new chapter and it is it consciously then you have to force it, all right? You need to work for it. You have to make the first step. And as you fool yourself, the things miraculously are gonna get better. For example, if uh, in your relationship, your partner treats you like a piece of crap and you hope that he, mirac or, he or she miraculously is going to change, well, that is not gonna happen and you kind of need a new chapter and you have to work toward it so open your eyes guys it is it is what is needed here in that specific time of the month of november the next card is the resources that you can take advantage of so we do have the wheel of fortune and that speaks that you will not lack um, an opportunity at all uh, so the the fortune itself is going to be uh, the resource that you can take advantage of if you miss one opportunity another will present to to embark this new chapter in your life another is going to take place so you will have new marries uh, kind of um, how can I place it? You will have numerous, um, not opportunity, but uh, abilities to make errors. So you make error once you tried, well, it doesn't work out well. Well, in a couple of days, another opportunity will present itself to you. Uh, and uh, 
Therefore, at the end, uh, if I may say here my personal opinion, is that if you find yourself in the same tough spot that you are finding yourself right now as you are entering the month, well, that will be entirely because you worked for it. It is basically you, you didn't have either the courage or you didn't have either, you know, uh, the, 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 the self um, respect as well uh, to actually say enough is enough and basically start a new chapter in your life as this is that reading is all about and you lie to yourself you know or you hoped for something different but that different according at least to those cards will not come anytime soon so you have to make it for yourself so these are the resources that you can um, uh, that you can capitalize on the numerous opportunities for you to make the change required in your life and to open the new chapter in your life. Additionally to that, uh, the uh, the resources as well is going to be a resource is going to be the dynamic the the dynamic nature of the month here. One thing after another is going to come into your way, as the wheel of fortune says, and uh, <clears throat> you can capitalize on that by uh, storing by storing favors. So one person comes to you, ask you for a favor, you kind of accomplish that favor. Well, they have to, they will return it in the future. So it's kind of like building up connections. This is a resource that you can rely on as well. And the last card that we do have, this is going to be the final outcome here. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is a highly singular card. It does point that you will be very comfortable with... Uh, what you work toward now this card uh, it represents self sustaining it's kind of like that you will be capable to self sustain and that said you will not need anybody to um kind of like to be attached to anybody that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be in a relationship or in in a certain job but in the same time it does says that if you aren't that will be okay as well because another one will follow soon after the nine of pentacles is the card pointing that for example um the this is going to be the result of this new chapter is going to be the deal of the century for you business wise is going to be the job for you that you hoped for for a quite some time now it's your are your hopes going to be um validated here or well, that is a subject of the next month probably but at least you're gonna have the job of uh of your wish because from a first hand, I can tell you that I so was, so much wanted a certain type of job, and at the end, when I had it, it turned out not to be the thing I hoped for. So, this is what I'm trying to say: that initially your hopes are going to be presented to you on a platter, but some of you will realize that you know this isn't something that they really hoped for, right? They have imagined it differently. Also, this card points that. Um, you may meet a a person that you had that fully fits into your criteria. Now, is the relationship going to happen or not? Well, that depends on how you're going to tackle with this person. But what I'm trying to say here is the means necessary for what you wanted here to feel that this new chapter in your life will be fulfilling and is going to be something that you, you work for are going to be given to you. And you are the only one here who needs to make a full utilization of those uh, means. So that being said, Libros, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for November 2018, and I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Libra star sign, and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings also if you find these reports helpful uh, you can uh, dive even deeper into understanding the month for Libra as uh, you can purchase the uh, extended monthly tarot reading for just $1.49 
from my website and in this uh, extended video we are going to make or I'm going to make a, a two additional spreads one for career and one for relationship life personal intimate life for Libra for the month of November that being said Rod signing out now see you next time bye